since the pandemic hit over a year ago. Public transportation ridership took a turn for the worst. It cut in half almost overnight in April of last year. There was a lot of fear in the industry and in uh, locally, especially uh, uh, the Senior Citizen Center shut down, which is part of our uh, uh, business. Uh, we were pro providing transportation for those. Ridership is still down about 25%. But little by little, things have started to pick up. People are uh, getting out. They're going to work. Uh, they're going to shop. Easy Rider leaders tell me they're not quite where they want to be, but approaching the destination. I think we're seeing the beginnings of it, but uh, you know, the vaccine has helped a lot. People are feeling more comfortable. Uh, I think as uh, the year goes on, and if the FTA, the Federal Transit Administration, will lift the mask requirements on bus, it will make people a little bit more comfortable. Now approaching Midland Police Department, Louisiana. They're picking up new riders who want to save on their work commute. That is, those who still have them. And the vaccine rollout has also helped business. We did help out when the cities uh, first started up at the Horseshoe in Midland and at uh, Ratliff Stadium, Odessa. We had a special bus picking up and taking people to that. Overall, they're ready to give rides to more West Texans as soon as they're ready. Next weekend, Easy Rider will be set up at both the malls and Walmarts in Midland and Odessa to get some feedback from West Texans on what they want from their bus service. So if you're interested, you can stop by and fill out a survey. Easy Rider also plans to completely replace their bus fleet within the next two years. Reporting in Midland, I'm Rachel Ripp. Back to you.